Hello again, welcome back. That last video was a bit longer than I anticipated, so for something a little bit shorter and a little bit more fun, let's do, let's set up a hunger system now that we have berries that we can actually get. Let's actually make it to where we need to eat them. So I'm going to create a new variable, call it current hunger. I'm going to change that to a float right click duplicate and call it max hunger and I'm gonna set its category to my player base stats for both of them compile that real quick and set them both to hmm, 10 So now in our player HUD menu, in our HUD elements, we need to inc include another bar to be our hunger. So I'm going to drag out a progress bar, scale it down a little bit, and up. A little bit skinnier than that, that'll work. We want to change it to bar fill type from bottom to top, so that it works like that. We want to create a binding for it. Drag out our player reference. Get current hunger. Get max hunger. Drag it off. On the question mark is this key. It'll give you the float divided by float. Divide that by that and hook that up. So, yep, it's full. And in our player blueprint, off of our begin play, the character initialization, we want to first right click, create a custom event called hunger. Gotta have hunger for our games, right? There's no copyright infringement when I say that. <laughs> and in our graphs, we can get our hunger event and just set it up. So for our hunger custom event, I'll drag it over away from everything and I'm gonna set a delay by holding D and left clicking and promote this to promote the duration to a variable called drain rate. That way we can for our skills menu be able to update it. I'm gonna set it for about every 10 seconds. That might be, that might be too much, too short. I'm gonna set 15 for now. So, we will drag out our current hunger, find out if it's less than or equal to zero, put a branch, B left click, hook that up. If it is less than or equal to zero, then we want to set our current health, or get our current health, integer, or float minus float, and then set our current health. Actually, you know, it might be even easier than that. We want to just apply damage. The damage actor will be self. But if it's not less than or equal to zero, we want to get current hunger, float minus float, set current hunger. And what we'll do is drag this off, promote it to a variable called hunger drain amount. I'm going to set it 0.5. So we want to, for our damage for it to apply, our health is what? 30? I'm going to say 5. Mm 
Okay. And then at the end of all of this, we want to drag out our hunger event again and make it call itself off of both of them. So when we start up, it should take just a few seconds and then we'll see that bar start to fall. There it goes. So now our character's hunger is dropping. Let's test one more thing. I'm going to set the current hunger to zero. I'm going to set the drain rate to about two, just for testing purposes. And then see if our health, whoa, yeah, our health's going down. So now our Nah, it's working. So, current hunger back to 10, I think is what we, yeah. Alright, so box select, comment that off as hunger system. Now, we want to be able to refill that. So, in our inventory widget, which remember is in our HUD elements, inventory screen, on our blueberry treat, scroll down to the on clicked event, drag out our player reference, get current hunger, and less than, oh, I don't know why that was unticked, but less than or equal, no, 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 just less than. We want to find out if it is less than max hunger because if it's not like if this is equal to this we don't want to be able to eat anything that way we prevent the player from eating something when they don't need to but if our current hunger is less than the max hunger then we want to get how many blueberry treats we got get our blueberry treat set our blueberry treat integer minus integer minus one I'm gonna drag out one more player reference set current hunger get current hunger plus float plus float Let's see. For the blueberries, that could be, because that'll be pretty easy to find. I'm going to say plus two. And then off of our set, we want to find out if it's greater than or equal to max hunger. B left click for another branch because if it is, then we want to drag off one more player reference and set current hunger to max hunger, oh, max hunger. That way it doesn't go over. And that should be about all she wrote for this one. Let's test it. Player BP, let's find out. Do I got any blueberry treats? I don't. Do I have blueberries? I do, so alright. Hold up. On clicked. Oh. Okay, one more thing we want to do on that on clicked event. Right at the very beginning, first thing we want to do branch. Because it would help to find out get blueberry treats and find out if it's greater than zero. If true, then we're gonna do this. Because if it's not, we don't want it to be able to eat. You don't want to be able to eat something that ain't there. So let's test it out real quick. So, oh, no, no. I have no blueberry treats. Gotta wait for my hunger to drop a little bit. 
I shouldn't have reset the test the drain right just yet. Alright, so I click it, nothing happens. Let me craft one real quick. Now I got one. I eat it, and I'm full again. Yay! So, yep, there it goes again. So one more, we'll do basically the same thing for the meat, except for it'll be more filling. So I want to do a branch, drag off our player reference, get cooked meat greater than zero, because if it is, then we want to get set cooked meat get cooked meat integer minus integer minus one and then after this what we can do here instead of having to do all this again we can just box select all that control C control V to paste it and then just set it up like that oh, instead of the two here we want to set the current hunger plus five so I'm going to save all that real quick. Play. Oh, pff. it'll save us some time. I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to set my drain rate to about 2 seconds instead of 15. Oh, it's draining quick. lower just so we can see that it doesn't fully fill it up every single time. Actually, I'm going to let it drain all the way out just so I can see that it'll start affecting the health. And then once we eat the meat, I want to make sure that it goes back to affecting our hunger and not our health again. So, there it goes. So, there we go. That's a hunger system. But that two seconds, that's quick. So drain rate, I'm gonna set it back to 15 for the game. So. But yeah, super simple hunger system. So. Thanks for checking it out. Oh wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I? Am I forgetting something? Set our cooked meat minus one. We want to make sure that our cooked meat is greater than zero. I guess that's it for that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I didn't forget something. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, if there's something I do forget ever, just give me a shout and uh, I'll cover it again. Or if you got any requests, psh shoot me a line. I don't care. I'll do requests. But thanks for checking it out. Later.